Okay, hopefully my sound's good and everything like that. Everybody can hear me. So we're tuning the input here, the Snowcap amplifier. I'm using the Enritsu again. Uh, first thing I'm going to point out here is uh, calibration went off again, as you can see. Not a big deal. My frequency range hasn't changed. It's just Enritsu requires this thing to be recalibrated about once every half an hour and it's kind of irritating. So nothing's changed. It's going to give me an accurate reading because I'm still using the same frequency range as the last time I calibrated. It's still 25 meg on this side. At this end of the scale I got a one set at 155 because the last video I made I was uh, sweeping the filter. So I'm using markers again. I got four markers out. First marker, uh, marker one is set at 60 meg. And as you can see, M1, the first number after it says M1 is 2.48. That's my VSWR. And then it says the frequency. So it's 60 meg. Uh, VSWR is 2.48, 2.49. It's fluctuating a bit. Marker 2 is the one I'm kind of using here. And hopefully you can see it real well. Um, as you can see, marker 2 is highlighted. Uh, the SWR after that is 1.49 and then there's the frequency 27.015 megahertz so it's in the CB band anyways. Marker 3 set at the same thing and marker 4 right now is at 36 meg. So you can see between uh, 27 meg and 36 meg the tuning hasn't changed. It's actually pretty broad banded. Um, what I can show you is the changes. Now what I was doing is adding and subtracting capacitance from the input here. Now I'll show you how it works. Now if I add capacitance to this, now 27 meg is somewhere, well here I'll highlight the marker and we can see exactly where 27 meg is and that's marker 2. So. The one that's highlighted is the red one. Well, you can see that moving across the screen, I hope so. Let's see, I'm going to get marker one out of the way because they're both on the same there. Marker one. No, that's not marker one. Let's move the other one. Three. Yeah, it's marker three. Move that one right down, okay, and I'll go back to marker two. Okay, so you can see where the red line is right now pretty clearly, I hope. Uh, not right now, it's at 27 meg. So we're looking right here. What we want is the lowest dip right in here. That'll give us our tuning. So I just grabbed a random capacitor just to show you how much uh, the tuning is going to change when I add capacitance to this. Now I'm adding capacitance and it's going to change the resonant frequency quite a bit. You'll see some pretty dramatic change there. So now, I'm moving this cap around here quite a bit. Let's see. Now, we've got a real dip way in here. So, let's see, well, where's my nearest marker? It's 36, 60 meg. We'll use marker 1 again and we'll see what this is tuned for. So, there's marker 1 and we're going to move it and again, over here you're going to see what the VSWR changes with frequency. So we're getting close here. So right there, just by adding this bit of capacitance, uh, the tune, the input tuning has changed up to 70, it looks like 71.356 megahertz. And uh, again, VSWR is 1.52. That's uh, that's pretty good for input tuning. It's not that lossy, um, especially with a, this type of divider. Um, yeah. So now, if I take the capacitor off, we're back to normal. So again, just by adding or changing capacitance here, I'm actually tuning the input to a resonant frequency. Let's see what this one does here. I'm just grabbing capacitors I have. So this is a higher value cap, and we'll move it way up here and see what its resonant frequency is. So we're looking at marker one. The input's now resonant at about 88 meg, and uh, yeah, VSWR is really good. It's uh, 1.19, 1.18. It's actually pretty good. So now to do this, 
what I did was I I had to take the, the divider off of the windings to do it with the end read seal. Now, let me see if I can get this a little bit better here. This is a Wilkerson power splitter. It splits the load, that's all it does. So we've got a 50 ohm load coming in and it splits it. And it splits it, we've got one wire going into two and this resistor here, it's almost like a balancing resistor. This is what sets the output impedance on both sides. So we've got two 50 ohm loads coming out, you add those together and that's the value of the resistor you use, 100 ohm resistor. So, if everything is perfect, 50 ohm load coming in, this should split it into two 50 ohm loads. Now, if I really want to check this thing, what I can do, and did do, was disable it, take off my windings to the input transformers. And I attached two 50 ohm resistors. Now, if this is perfect, we should get, if this is all matched, this circuit here, if it's matched perfect, we should get relatively no loss between here, the input, 50 ohms, and each side, which is 50 ohms, because I've got a 50 ohm load on there, essentially just a dummy load. Now I'm generating real low power, the NRC doesn't put up that much. So now, the other thing we do is we add this capacitor in here, and that sort of tunes this for the resonant circuit. So this is how I tune the input. Establish that this is 50 ohms. Everything is 50 ohms, split to 50 ohms. And then I tuned the input to the 50 ohm output because that's what we want. We want 50 ohms here at a resonant frequency, frequency, which is 27 meg. And then we want that to go out at each end here, 50 ohms, 27 meg. And then we want that to go into our input trend transformer. Input input to the transistors is actually really low impedance. It's actually uh, like between two and four normally for bipolar transistors. So what this thing does is we're just knocking it down, we're stepping it down actually, bringing down the impedance to match it. This is just a matching section right here again. So we've got two matching sections. We've got the Wilkerson divider, we've got this, we've got a divider, and we've got the matching section for the transistors. So, do this one step at a time. I'm assuming these are correct. Now, input is resonant at 27 meg, it's tuned, and we've got 250 ohms out. So, I am sure right now that this circuit here, input circuit, is tuned for 27 meg at low loss and that up here it is split into 250 ohm loads and that it's 27 megahertz, it's tuned. So that's all we wanted to do, is just tune that input. Make sure that's as good as we can get it because uh, we don't want any reflected power going back into the radio. So now the next step is, again, I don't have this amplifier on, it's just straight tuning circuit, that's it. Next step is we're going to hook it up to the transformers and see how good I actually did. So that would be the next step in doing this, this process here. Again, I can take a quick look back at the Enritsu to show that input. It's a small little circuit that just splits the impedance. That's it. 150 ohm load into 250 ohm loads and the capacitor tunes it to a specific frequency. So again, if I change this capacitance, you're going to get 50 ohms at another resonant frequency, which is, let's see, where are we at here? 88 megs. So that's input tuning with the uh, Anritsia. Um, hopefully I explained it good. Um, that's all for now.